say, and I, I might have to suck ten dicks to get myself out of this one, but <laughs> I'm prepared to do so. Oh my god! <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the Hot Shiitake Podcast. I'm Deborah Jen, and I'm Michelle, and we're gonna be talking shit while doing our makeup. Roll the tapes. <laughs> Okay, so what's new with you this week, Michelle? Um, not much. It's been a pretty, uh, uneventful week. Oh, well, I have yeah. some news. You do? What's your news? I got Invisalign yesterday. What? Do I sound weird? No, I also didn't even notice. Really? Have you had it on this entire time? Yeah, I have. Except oh. when, when you got here, I didn't have them in because I was eating. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. And then I went and brushed my teeth and put them back in. Oh, I see. But, like, okay. I felt like when I was talking just now, it did sound a little weird. But I, I hear, like, a slight Like, list. a slight list? Yeah. Yeah. They're, like, overall not so bad. Okay. Like, I, I actually... Like teeth were already, like, really straight, though. <laughs> I told someone I work with that I was getting Invisalign, and they're like, but your teeth are straight. And I was like, well, yeah. maybe I'm just bored. Oh, my God. <laughs> She's like, we're bored. Move the teeth! <laughs> Did you have braces before? Yeah, I had braces when I was in high school. Oh, so why are you? Uh, Cause you're bored. I guess I'm bored. Yeah, you're yeah. Bored. Okay. and I'm Eric is getting Invisalign, so oh, I'm like, so oh, you're let's like, do it oh, together. Well, we'll be if you're doing it, I want to do it. And like, insurance is paying for most of it, so yeah. I'm like. Move the teeth. <laughs> Move the teeth. Okay. Move the teeth. Move the teeth. Honestly, I was a little scared because I was talking to Eric's sister, uh -huh. and she was saying, like, when she had Invisalign, like, mm. they were, like, really painful, and, like, she okay. couldn't eat, like, crunchy foods. Uh-huh. Which I was like, okay, like, I need to lose some what? weight anyways. It's kind of like braces, though. It's just probably not as, like, hard on your teeth as braces, I feel like. Well, it probably is. I think it is, but, like, slower. Like, you know how, like, yeah. when you get your braces on? Well, I actually on? think it's faster because I think it's only going to be six months. Oh, no, no, no. I meant, like, slower in terms of pain. Because, oh. you know, like, when you... I don't know if you... I, like, remember it vividly when I first got my braces. Um, my mouth was, like, sore for, like, a week. Like, really? I don't remember you that. You know what I mean? Whereas with Invisalign, like, you're slowly, like, just, like, putting... I don't it know. In Even my like... dentist who was doing them said that she didn't like it when she did it. She had, like, already put on the nubbies. She was like, yeah, when I did Invisalign, I, like, regretted it. I was like, oh did I make God. a mistake? And I was oh like, damn. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> it's for everyone, you know? Everyone's different. Yeah, I mean, so far, no pain. Okay. It, it is annoying to eat, though, because, like, the little glue nubs. Uh-huh. Like, I actually prefer having the trays in, because, like, then I don't feel the nubs. Yeah. When I have the trays out, then I feel the nubs, and what I think What are the nubs? Like, what are they... They're just, like, little glue spots, like... They're just there to, like, help keep the... Like, like that's the what makes in. them move them, I think. That's what the dentist uh, was saying okay, yesterday. okay, okay, Like, the... Because the nubs, like, hook into the tray, and so okay. I think that it moves... That's how the teeth move. I see. So I'm like, okay, do the teeth that don't have any nubs, are they not getting moved? Because, like, these uh, ones don't have nubs, and my front two don't have nubs. Yeah. I don't know. They're nubless. Nubless. Well, I guess we'll find out. Don't so. forget to do your eyebrows this time. Oh, my God. My eyebrows last time were so ugly. I didn't even notice. They were so ugly. I actually didn't notice either until afterwards, and I was washing my face. I was like, oh, my God, I don't have anything on my eyebrows. Why do I look like an ugly mole? Like a, you do a not look like rat. an ugly mole rat. You need to calm down. <laughs> so dramatic. Uh, and maybe you were a bad friend for not telling me to do my brows. Girl, I didn't even fucking notice. <laughs> no Before idea. we started filming, I was wearing this sweatshirt and I go, Michelle, should I wear this sweater or should I change? She goes, well, you have food stains on the front, so I'm thinking you want to change. <laughs> I mean I'm like damn <laughs> all right then <laughs> like, I guess I will actually it was toothpaste stains though because I was brushing my teeth for my Invisalign oh I see okay okay, okay. I will say that like the maintenance of the Invisalign is a little annoying it's like what do you mean what is the mean because like, I just have to brush my teeth after every time I eat and like uh -huh. I also have to floss because I feel like more stuff is getting up in there yeah so I can only imagine that eating at a restaurant will be a little annoying yeah Honestly, when you said that, I just, like, heard my cousin in my head because she's a dentist, and she would say, you should be flossing after every meal. Okay, well, that's a little extreme. I mean, I get it, but, like, yeah. let's be serious. I mean, she's, like, young, too, but, like, I'm joking, but at the same time, I'm sure she'd be, like, ideally, you should be flossing. Of course. Right? I feel but that. Not everyone has time to do that, and she completely understands, but... It, as long as you're doing it twice a day. I mean, I guess she's probably as crazy about teeth as, like, I am about, like, sunscreen. Oh, I, was, I thought you were going to say about my brows. 
<laughs> I'm not that crazy about my brows. Obviously, I forgot to do them. <laughs> but anyways, anyway. down to the real tea that we all came for. Right, right. Love is Blind, season six, uh -huh. the third drop of episodes. Right. Do you have to mention that it's season six or? Well, I don't know. Maybe someone is watching this in the future. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know. I'm just wondering. I don't know. I'm here to help the people. Okay. Okay. I'm doing them a kindness. You're doing the Lord's work. Okay. So last week, literally the moment we finished filming and you had already left, <laughs> I see all these like news, like TikToks and stuff about Trevor, who we had previously liked. Yes. yes. And wanted to date people yeah, like on yeah, the show and was yeah. like, oh, he should date so-and-so. He should date them. He's such a great guy. Right. This little monkey business guy. Had a dang girlfriend the entire time they were filming. Love is blind, I and she exposed him over like she posted all their texts yeah all together. their text messages yeah because apparently I guess he was was he texting her while he was on the show I think he texted her like right before he left because uh -huh. I don't think they have phones when they're that's what I was thinking but some of the things that he was saying kind of made it sound like he was already in the middle of it all. I what think. was he saying? I think that there was like a part where he said something about how like she shouldn't worry about anything because like he's not gonna go through with it. Let's look up the texts. Okay. Let's look up the texts. I forgot I had been doing that earlier and then got, like, majorly, majorly distracted. What were you distracted by? Yeah, who knows what I get distracted by. Just about sure. anything, really. Do you have ADHD? Oh, for sure. I think I do, too. I'm diagnosed. I oh, stopped, you are? I stopped taking... I was, like, taking medicine all, like, since, like, fourth grade. Uh-huh. Oh. Um, and then I took it on and off, like, through, like, high school and stuff. I took it through college. Yeah. I was taking it up until, like... Just a few years ago when mm -hmm. I was like, okay, you know how I'm like obsessed with anti-aging? Yeah. I suddenly started thinking like, oh my God, I bet this is aging me. Because it's essentially speed. Right? Like you're taking like a low dose level meth. Oh, I thought it was like caffeine. Well, it's like amphetamines. I don't know. It literally said on my prescription bottle, amphetamine salts. I don't, I'm, I don't. And I think mean. caffeine ages you too. I don't drink caffeine anymore either. Oh, I do. I need it. Well, we'll run a test and see who looks old faster, you or me. Okay. Well, I also drink, though, so. Oh, that's true. Yeah. So we'll do all the things that you do and all the things I don't do. <laughs> so basically just keep doing what we're doing. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I also don't know that I really think, like, the medicine, like, was it really helping me or was it just, like, making me, like, lulled into a stupor? What do you mean? Like, like was I really, like, concentrating that much more? I mean, maybe. I'm pretty bad. I'm pretty bad right now. So then it was helping I'm pretty off out. Well, I don't know, remember if I was really ever on task, though. Oh. Like, was I? Maybe. Like, did you, like, I did mean, it help you, like, concentrate in school and stuff like that? Because you, you said I mean, you had it in fourth grade. Who knows, because I was started taking it so young. So, like, I oh, just like, that, like you had had a period where, like, you didn't do it. Right. And then you... I mean, I guess, like, in 2020, like, and, like, beyond, like, I started my Instagram in 2018, and I was, like, on it, right? Like, I was, like buzzed in yeah and I was like obsessed with it and right. like now I find it hard to like get things done yeah so like maybe so maybe yeah maybe it was helpful maybe I need to go back on otherwise my career will flounder oh good <laughs> okay anyways maybe back to ready. back to the texts I found them okay okay so in text number one so it's a screenshot and I'm guessing he's the gray because mm -hmm. the girlfriend posted it so she would be the blue right right so he says, or wait, do you want to do the girl and I'll do the, I'll do him? Sure. I love you so much, honey. <laughs> I'm excited for it, but more excited to get back to you after and start our life together. Red heart emoji. Did you get my text? Did you land? Just did. <laughs> did you find other people on the plane doing the show? The guy a first asked, though, talked to me the whole time. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> I know. You, I didn't, none of it makes sense. Either. Sorry, I need to be in character. <clears throat> no, you're fine. And established why we are here and agreed on it. So maybe it sounds like he's like, oh, like he made an agreement. Like he had like met someone, he that's met someone be on else the show. on the show, and they both agreed that they're gonna just be there for fame. Yeah, and not to like get not married. to the sounds like. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. So read your part, and then it makes sense. And what was that? No matter what, we are not getting married. LOL. Nice. <laughs> nice. Nala, do you still love me, smiley face? Pumpkin? <laughs> I'm crying. Can I call you in 30 minutes? I missed you so much. I love you more than anything in this world, and I'm going to marry you. Yes, call me. I can't wait. 
proposing, but she left me on the last day for another guy. Her name was Chelsea. Chelsea also passed away today. Like, talking about his dog, because his dog's name was Chelsea. Yeah. I didn't want the first thing I texted you to be, call your mom, but it was yesterday. I talked to her a couple times. She's doing okay. I talked to her, but yeah, the girl who was my final match was named Chelsea, and I gave her Chelsea's collar as my item. That is very cute. I hope you know how much I love you, and had to pretend that this wasn't real life to say anything I said. It's okay, pumpkin. My stomach, because I feel like I've lost my best friend. However, I feel that you already know what you want based on your silence, so I am prepared for the worst. You have made me wait seven days without speaking a word to me. You can wait till tomorrow. I will text you in the morning. I don't want to have this talk. (laughs) I hate hate you. (laughs) I hate you. Why would you want to hear what I have to say after I've treated you like this all week? Because I want you to give me the respect I deserve instead of treating me like this. I do respect you. I wouldn't intentionally ruin things and push you away if I didn't know that you deserve ten times better than me. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, and that's the end of the text, and then it's just, like, little pictures of them, like, together. She's obviously, like, a gym girly, and he's a gym bro. Yeah, that's why they work out. Mm -hmm. Well, obviously didn't work out. Fair. Well, it didn't work out because he went on the fucking show. He went on Love is Blind, but I heard he also filmed Perfect Match. That's what I heard, too. So, like, Him and Jess, I think. Oh, really? I heard, yeah. I heard they were both on it. Oh, wait, 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 that's crazy because I heard Jess dated, uh, what's his fucking name? Harry Jowsey. Yeah, that's what I heard too. Is that where they met on Perfect Match? I think so. Uh, I think, I mean, I think that's what I like read. Wait, they're a really hot couple, not even gonna lie. I I, like, Harry Jowsey is kind of like, obviously a (laughs) douchebag, like a little F-boy. Yeah. But I, like, I kind of just love him. He's like... Good looking. He's tall. He's hot. I'd date him. (laughs) I know you would. I I liked him from the moment him and Francesca were together. I liked the same. I think he did Francesca dirty for sure. Like, I'm team Fran. Uh Uh-huh. But, like, I just liked them. They, like, had such a spark. Yeah. And let's be honest, they, like, helped each other get famous. So, it wasn't all for nothing. Exactly. Speaking of Jess dating Harry Jowsey, like, it does call into question, like, uh, maybe some of her, like, judge of character qualities i was like yeah and my sister also said like okay is she even a good mom if she's dating him which i think is a little unfair yeah because he's charming i i can see how you'd fall for him yeah but i also think maybe we should also remember that even though it is reality tv some of these people like play up things because they know it'll get them like that's true. You know what I mean? Who so was he recently dating though? Like he was dating someone else recently. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. And I guess we are just speculating. Like maybe wait, 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 wait. Let me look up the timing of the picture of Jess and Harry. Okay. Because like maybe it wasn't recently, because I feel like I feel like he was in a recent, like, serious relationship. Okay, this says Jess Jessica Vestal has rebounded from her Love is Blind partner with a too hot to handle star. Mm-hmm. When was that? Was this some weird website called Dexerto? Never heard of it. Okay. On February 22nd, popular IG account The Reality Ashley showed a photo of Jessica swimming with Harry Jowsey. Mm-hmm. It says, exclusive, Love is Blind Season 6's Jessica Vestal's perfect match has been revealed. Mm-hmm. And then it's her in the water with Harry. Okay. Oh, Uh, And so the captain says, spoiler alert, obviously find out which Perfect Match co-star Jessica was spotted with at the Lincoln Mile. Okay, so they did meet on Perfect Match. Yeah. Very interesting. Honestly, he dressed like um, like a Lamborghini or a Ferrari. I get those two mixed up. Okay. So either, uh, he's he's like an OnlyFans star. He like, he's probably making pretty good money. Yeah. Although I think driving a Lambo for him, I mean, I don't know how much he's making on OnlyFans. It might just be a poor financial decision. I mean, he's young. We all make poor financial decisions when we're young. Some of us still are. Myself. (laughs) So, you know what I mean? Like, Michelle's like, I'm making poor financial decisions every day. Don't hate the player, hate the game. (laughs) I'm just going to roast myself here. (gasps) Okay, Um, fair enough. I'm just saying, like, Jessica has a kid to worry about. You don't. That's true. You know what I mean? Although, I will say, I think it's good for her career to date Harry Jowsey. Yeah. And that's that on that. 
Yeah. They're both extremely hot. They are both extremely hot. And if that's the only thing you need in life, that's the only thing you need in life. Yeah. It'll boost their careers for sure. And for I bet sure. he knows that. Yeah. And I bet she knows that too. I love her, but I bet she does have like, her. she's not, she's no dummy. She, she like probably went on the show hoping to get a little bit of. Oh, for sure. Fame and money. For sure. I mean, why would you go on a reality show for love? Anyways, like maybe you want love. Yeah. But you're like. Okay, if I don't get love, at least I'll get a little bit of fame. Yeah. Best case scenario. Yeah. I mean, I feel like at this point, though, I think we can all just assume that anyone going on these shows is looking for fame. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Like, let's not kid ourselves. I think G. Ramey definitely wanted fame. Oh, I heard. I mean, yes. But I also He broke up with his fiance to go on the show, so. I heard that he was... I mean, he said on his own Instagram, I think that he they were he was already in the process of like leaving their home, and then a casting director reached out to him on Instagram, and he like posted screenshots, and it was like two weeks out. I don't believe a word he says out. though, if I'm being honest. So he got cast two weeks before they started filming. Yeah, that's what the message said. It said like, hey, we start filming in two weeks. Do you want to be on the show? Pretty much, like that's like the gist of it. I mean, they said a little bit more, like obviously, like intros, and they're like, "We're filming the show, but like you need to make a decision quick because we film in two weeks, so you need to let us know if you want to be on it or not." Uh, let me. So it's on his Instagram. I think it's on his. Instagram. Okay, the text says, "Hey, G. Ramey. <laughs> I refuse to pronounce his name right. Yeah. Hey, G. Ramey. I know this is super random, but my name is Blank, and I'm a casting associate producer for Blank." We're currently casting for the show Love is Blind on Netflix in the Charlotte area. I'd love to chat if you're interested in hearing more. Heads up as well that we are in the final week of casting, so there's not much time left to get applications in. So filming won't commence until next March. But we can still make it work if you're interested. Many thanks, and I hope to hear from you. Okay. So this was was on November. November. So so filming wasn't for like four months. Yeah. Interesting. But then if it wasn't for four months, then and why did she say And he posted in the caption, out? he said, just for some clarity, one, my previous engagement was not a secret while filming. It was well documented, well known. Two, I was not living with anyone when casting reached out. This whole process had not even begun until I was out and on my own. Additionally, yes, my home sold a week or two before filming, listed in October or November, sold in March. Wasn't living in it while it was listed. I don't know if anyone else was trying to sell a place at that specific time, but it was not a short process. Not going to give this one any more attention. Okay, fine. So maybe he was broken up already, but he still sucks. I mean, yeah, he still sucks. I'm not. I'm not denying that. I think he's one of those. I'm just like you know, as a journalist, he's a a lion in sheep's clothing. Facts. That's what I think. Who do you think is worse, Trevor or Jeremy? G. Ramey. I don't know. That's hard. Now I don't know. What do you think? I think my visceral reaction is that I hate G. Ramey more. Yeah. But we've also seen more of him on the show, so, yeah, like... that's true. That might be why. Yeah. Because we don't really know much about Trevor. No, we don't. Except that he's, like... Except that he's, like, a piece a of A dopey, shit. roided out dude. Allegedly. In my opinion. In your opinion. Because no I don't want to th- suck ten dicks and oh, dig it out of his lawsuit. <laughs> no one has started this rumor but you, Deborah. Mm. Okay, so, anyways. Speaking of Trevor... Mm-hmm. And his steroided self. We did see him at the pool party. So let's start talking about the pool party. Because I feel like that was... The pool party was, like, really the scene we've all been waiting for. The pool party was also really dramatic. It was really dramatic. There was, like, so many different things that happened. Yeah. It was well worth the wait. Yes. Um, Where should we start? Should we start with... Jimmy and Jess, because that's like the couple we've been like yeah, that's true. seen we'll all about there. in the previews. They were like, yeah, they've been clipping this till the cows come home. So Jess shows up to the party looking incredible. Yes, obviously, she looks so good. Um, I want to get my boobies done. Do you think she got her boobies done? Is that why they look like that? Girl. Girl, I don't know. Oh my god, Michelle, I'm praying for you. She clearly has implants. It like could not be more obvious. They, she looks good. Yeah, but like they're but, like. What I mean, if it they was don't her, like no. no, they don't even almost look natural. Okay, I don't know. No, she definitely. I don't like to assume things. It, well, you're not okay. assuming. My eyes tell me like that's <laughs> an implant. She looks good. I want implants too. I'm just saying it's yeah. definitely clearly an implant. Right. And I well, I think I'm gonna wait till after I have kids though. Unfortunately, I just like ugh, I, I I went to a con- well actually I never went to a consultation I scheduled a consultation uh-huh. back in 2019 went. and mm-hmm. then I ended up canceling it mm-hmm. why because I didn't feel like I had the time mm-hmm. and honestly big regrets because I could have had 
nice titties for like five years now. And if I don't have kids for another three years, I would have been eight years of nice tits. Yeah, that's true. And instead, I've been no. squandering my time. That's on you. With average boobs. Yeah, you did that to yourself. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not you looking me up and down. <laughs> Damn. She's like, those are average tits. You're, you know what? What are you going to do? Anyways, exactly. she comes in, fake boobs and all, looking great. Mm-hmm. And so she and Jimmy, like, sit down and have, like, a talk. Mm-hmm. And I thought she, I thought she played it well. I mean, Mm -hmm. she was a little bit like, yeah, like I still like when we first met, I still felt like a little something, but like, she's not, in my opinion, flirting with him or doing anything inappropriate. And like, she's like, she did tell him like, don't look at like, she was like giving him advice about Chelsea. And she was like, don't look at it as like coming from your ex. Right. Look at it as coming from like of one of her good friends. Cause like, I do think that she and Chelsea had a good friendship. Yeah. And I've seen them in the comments, like, since, mm-hmm. like, hyping each other up. Yeah, of. yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I think was, like, really nice of her to say, too. Yeah, yeah. I really think Jess is a girl's girl. I like her. Of course, she's not perfect. I think nobody's yeah, perfect. nobody's perfect, yeah. But, like, I think she played it well. I mean, Jimmy was kind of falling all over himself, though. Like, he was, oh, like, yeah. He was, like, drooling. Blustered. Yes. Yeah. And he even told her. Yeah, he's like, you make me nervous. Yeah, he told her she makes him nervous yeah. and that she was his number one still, which, like, what does that mean? Still when? Like, now you're his number one? Or, like, when you broke up with her, she was his number one? Right, like, right. At what point was she the number one? I think he regrets. Not, he, like, he's like, I could have been her stepdad, her kid's stepdad. Yeah, Now I that he's so seen too. her. I mean, how could you not regret that after seeing her? I know. I mean, she looks more like Megan Fox, in my opinion, than yeah. Chelsea. I mean, okay, so Eric did say, like, he thinks Chelsea does look kind of like Megan Fox. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, okay, but there's a difference between, like, kind having of. Megan Fox features yeah. and being Megan Fox hot. Yeah. yeah which, yeah. like, when you say you look like Megan Fox, I think people are expecting you are Megan Fox level hot. Right, right. Like, you're not expecting, oh, a couple of similar features. You're expecting, like, yeah, I agree smoke with that. show. Yeah. but Like, um, full-on baddie, hottest bitch you've ever seen type of hot. Right, right. But that's not the case. And I think Jess has the Meg. She's Megan Fox hot. Yeah. Because she's got them titties, though. Just the titties? Well, she's got the whole package going on. Right, right. I agree with that. So, I don't know, though. Like, why was Jimmy gassing her up so much? Like, do we think that was inappropriate? Like, he was kind of like... He's been inappropriate this entire time. She's not the first person he has gassed up. Like, he did it with Oh, with AD. You're right. So... It's not technically necessarily out of character for him. That's true. Although with AD, it just, felt more like... Well, because he wasn't going to fuck her. Right. Obviously. And but, it didn't feel like he was coming on to her, right? Like, I think, like, if Jess were to tell Jimmy right now, I'm still into you and I still want you, I think he would have, like, skirt, like, broken up with Chelsea. I think he would have broken up with her after the show. I don't think he would have done it right then. That's true. That's true. I don't know. I think... I think he's just goofy and he didn't realize that it, like, came off he's that way. He's just in a silly, but, goofy mood. Yeah. But when I, I will say, like, when I was watching their interaction, like, it didn't feel like he was coming on to her. It just, like, kind of felt like he just had regrets. Okay. That's, that's probably fair. Yeah. I saw a few TikToks of people criticizing Jess and mm-hmm. saying, like, she was doing too much. Mm-hmm. And, like, that she, like, by saying, like, oh, like, you were going to, I told you. She like brought up the EpiPen yeah. statement and was like, "Yeah, I told you you were gonna need your EpiPen." She was like, "I was gassing myself a little too much in that." But then she was like, "I was the one who actually like almost fell over when you hugged me." Oh my god! Yeah, that part made me roll my eyes so hard. Hmm. So I was like, "Really? That guy?" I know. Like after you've seen him, he he looks easy to draw. Duh. He literally does look easy to draw. He does. Okay, so Jimmy and. Jimmy and Jess met, and then Chelsea and Trevor met. Mm-hmm. I kind of felt like they were heavily flirting. Yeah, but I don't like mind. Were. I didn't mind it outside of knowing that Trevor did have a girlfriend. Like, yeah, if I am pretending that like we don't know anything about that girl, right, right, I still would want Chelsea and Trevor to be together. Yeah, like they were kind of cute, and like they were kind of cute, and she did really say like a lot that um he was like definitely her type. Yeah, and I mean, well, I mean, outside of the fact that he's got, like, void pimples yeah, scattering his forehead. It kind of looked like he had, like, maybe, did it, maybe we 
mentioned this last week. It looks like he like probably has eczema or something too. I like the no, back I... of his head like was like red, like it looked red. Like you know how like when you get an eczema flare up, like mm. your skin kind of gets like patchy and red. I mean, maybe, maybe I'm just being. I, I mean, I just that. don't believe that he can be that big naturally. That's just my opinion. <laughs> Of course, I don't know if he's on steroids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. But, like, no, I, I, I like to be mean, and so I want to yeah. say that it's just 100% from steroids. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. You can say whatever you want to say. And I'm I might just... have to suck 10 dicks to get myself out of this one, but <laughs> I'm prepared to do so. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to be sitting in the courthouse with a sign. She's like, 10 dicks. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and I'm like, Michelle, wait, if it gets us, like, some publicity, I'm exactly. down. Exactly, yeah, there you go. It will. Anything for some publicity. It 1,000% She's will. She's like, 10 dicks. <laughs> get it's out of this. Sign. Someone get me a sign so people can Photoshop it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's like, I would love that. Let's get some merch. Okay. Merch, merch ideas. America's number one hater. Yeah. And I suck 10 dicks. Or like, whose dick do I gotta suck to get out of this? <laughs> I like that one. It should be a hat. A hat? Yeah, it'll, it'll be, be a hat. Like, it'll just whose like be dick do I have to suck? <laughs> to get out of this mess. <laughs> to get out of this legal mess. We'll suck dick for legal help. <laughs> for legal counsel. Legal counsel. Oh my god, you could have 10 lawyers on your council. And that's how you got them all. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I like this idea for you. I like it. I think the merge is going to do really well. I would wear that hat. I would wear the sweatshirt. I'm thinking, so for the America's number one hater, I'm thinking like a sweatshirt. Oh, it's a good, that's a cute. A little crew neck. Yeah. And I'll say it like Thank in you. silly, goofy font. Yeah. It's pre-order one. now. <laughs> when Join my we... Kickstarter. <laughs> when are we even going to make them? Oh, hopefully sooner than later. Blow this podcast up and we'll be making the merch ASAP. I mean, or you might have to suck 10 dicks to do that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. one or the other. I'm willing to do either way. Whichever the way uh, the cookie crumbles. Oh, I was going to say whichever way the wind blows. Yeah, I guess. So anyways. Oh, here were my notes on that I wrote while, while I'm oh, watching. God. I wrote, his steroid pimples go crazy. <laughs> And then I wrote, oh I wonder if he has a tiny penis. I mean, isn't that what happens? When I think your dick shrivels up, or is it just your balls? I, either way, right? I don't know. Something. Something happens. Something's happening down there. Something is happening down there. I mean, maybe he'll start an OnlyFans. That seems to be a pretty lucrative route for these people. Would Would you ever do an OnlyFans? Well, for me, like, I don't have the following to make it successful. I would just be embarrassing myself. Okay, well, then I don't either. So then why would you ask me the same question? Well, I didn't mean, like, now would you start. I mean, like, if you... Oh, if I, like, was got, like, if I was famous. Yeah. Probably if it's making me extra money. Yeah, I don't think I would do any sex acts. I think that's, like, too too far for me personally. Honestly, I would just, like, sell, um... Feet pics on my OnlyFans. Oh, I'd show some titty. I mean, by then I would have gotten my boob job. So. Oh, that's true. Happy to yeah. show. I mean, are they even mine at that point anyways? You're yeah, showing it's your skin. It's your body. Yeah, the only but thing that like... isn't yours is the silicone that's inside of them. I mean, and at that point, I guess I would have paid for it. So they, I own them. That's true. That too. See, then you do own them. I'm just saying it like, does it like feel real if it's like. Not yours? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yes and no. Maybe. Okay. Anyways, suffice to say, if I ever blow up, I'd be happy to do an OnlyFans if I thought I was going to actually make a ton of money. I mean, you probably would. I think it's just like anything. You just have to put in a lot of work. You know, effort. like, for, like, Tana Mojo and, like, other, like, people like that, mm-hmm. their OnlyFans, they barely post anything anyways. They're just, like, bikini pics. So, like, more than happy. Oh, my God. I'd be, I was joking all the time uh-huh. that I'd be, like, more than happy to do, like, a feet pics situation. Someone was asking me that at work, and I'm like, um, of course I would post feet pics. I would for love money. to sell feet pics. I'm like, honestly. Um, yeah. it's just a foot. And, and, like, I heard, like, sometimes they want your face in it. I'm like, I'm happy to pose with my face in my, I'll just, like, stretch my foot up to here. And, <laughs> your okay. foot next to your face? Yeah. If they, if someone wants a yeah. face in the shot, yeah. happy. Yeah. Send me your money. Venmo me. Venmo me and I'll send you a foot pug. I don't give a fuck. I think you should probably set your prices first before. A thousand what dollars. If they're, what if they're like, a thousand oh, dollars seems here's high. a dollar. Well, send me I didn't a say toe. For... <laughs> Hey, if enough people send it to me, those dollars will add up. <laughs> That's true. They will. <laughs> How, what's the going rate for a foot pick? I guess I don't know. I don't know either. But it has to be worth my time. It sounds lucrative. It sounds lucrative. Yeah. 
if you have interest, DM me on Instagram. Tell me how much you're yeah. willing to pay, and I'll let you know if I'm willing to exchange. Or leave a comment below, because me too. I need okay. to sell yeah. some pics out here. Well, I, I put, I'll put your Instagram in the link of bio. My Instagram is private. Is it? Yeah. I've t- we've talked oh about this. Oh my god. We've talked about this. Oh my god. You're off the show. <laughs> You know what? Let me just finish my hair and I'll leave them. I think you'd be more than happy to quit. <laughs> I know. I'm like, I'll still edit for you. I'll just, I don't want to do it on camera anymore. Oh my God. Freaking me out. Anyways, so Chelsea. <laughs> Chelsea and Trevor. Oh my God. These conversations go off the rails, but I love we it. we both have ADHD. Yeah, that's probably true. Maybe if I was medicated, we'd be on. On track. Oh, uh, you should have because then I probably should be medicated too. I don't want to be medicated. I'm I'm having fun living my life and not yeah. aging my skin and saying off the rails things. But Chelsea and Trevor were joking about like busting out that bracelet. Remember he gave her that bracelet? Yes. That you can like tap and say I'm thinking about you. No, she gave it to him. Oh, she gave it to him. Yeah. <gasps> she gave it to him. Oh my god, if someone gave me that, I'd be like, are we getting married? That's why everyone was so shocked that she picked Jimmy. I forgot about that, I guess. Yeah, because, like, I think that, like, shocked me the most, honestly, because it was just, like, why would you give him a bracelet like that? Yeah. And then choose someone else. I think it was just the psychology of wanting to win and, like, being chosen. Yeah. And, you know, the human brain is crazy. The human brain is, like, incredibly weak, too. Like, just in general, we're all stupid fucking idiots. Yeah, we are. I would agree that I am a stupid idiot. I agree with that. I mean, we can't help it. The brain is just, like, a really weak. I mean, like, I've seen things about, like, studies about, like, how easy it is to be, like, manipulated and conned and, like, yeah. fall prey to, like, cults. And I see that, too, but I would like to think that I wouldn't join a cult. And I say that as someone who used to be a part of a culty youth group. <laughs> oh, well, that's true, but, like, we were young. Like, that's I was true. part of, like, many youth groups. But, like, that was young. That was, like, our parents pushing us into things. I'm just, like... So and, uh, I don't know. So I, I will say I wanted to do that. I wanted to be a part of it. You did. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure I liked it at the time, too. Yeah, that's true. But we were young. Yeah, we our, were young. Our prefrontal cortexes weren't developed yet. We were that's just true. children. That's true. Like, that's a very good point. You know what I mean? I feel like this has come become like a pop culture slash biology show with how much you... You ex- mean psychology? Biology? No. Biology, because of how often you bring up your prefrontal cortex. Oh, well, perhaps I'm just obsessed. Speaking of prefrontal cortex, Chelsea called herself a, pri- a child bride. Well, essentially. Well, she was when she was 18. Yeah. Yeah. She was a child bride. She- that is crazy to me. I would never allow my child to get married at 18. No. I feel like, I get that it's like a thing in America because it's like, oh, once you're 18, you're considered a legal adult. Right. But like, but like you're still a child. Yeah, you are a child. Like, the other day when I was picking Eric up, because Eric was on deployment, so I picked him up in San Diego, mm-hmm. and like everyone getting off the carrier ship, mm-hmm. like they were like they floods like of children coming yeah. off. I was like, oh my God, they're all so young. I was like, these are children. Yeah. They were so young looking. I was like, oh yeah. my God. They're just little babies. They are little babies. I think you can join the military when you're, like, 17. I mean, they, they probably, have, most of them were older than that. They, they have were probably things like, like um, what is it, like, ROTC? Like junior. Well, yeah, but they're not on deployment. No, but, like, isn't that prepping them to be Yeah, in, Eric did ROTC. Yeah, if they wanted to, right? Yeah, and which yeah. I think ROTC is fine because, like, it paid for college and stuff. Does it pay for college? Oh, yeah, that's why you do it. So, like, that's oh, what Eric did. That. He was in ROTC. It's during college, right? So you're not a commissioned officer yet. Oh, well, so that's we like, had ROTC in our high school. That's JROTC. J- oh, I see, I see. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Yeah. So he was in ROTC. My cousin did ROTC. Mm-hmm. My uncle might have done ROTC too. Yeah. Okay, anyway. Um, but back yeah. to, oh, how did we even get here? <laughs> back to um, our regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> okay, the other hot, hot tea thing was, mm-hmm. of course... Jeremy and Laura at the pool party. Oh, yeah. They, or not, not, well, Jeremy and Laura, but Jeremy and Sarah Ann, yeah. specifically. Jeremy, Laura. Because Jeremy yeah. and Laura, like, so Je- Laura, like, popped off on Jeremy. What ha- What order did that happen in? She popped off on him first. Yeah, because he had showed up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and at the beginning of the episode, he, like, talked to his mom. Oh, yeah, And yeah, told yeah. her all this stuff. And, like, his mom was even, like, yeah. you're full of shit. Yeah, yeah. Which is also, like, why I don't believe that he was, it like, still in a relationship or, like, you know what I mean? Before okay, because his mom would have, like... Yeah, because I think his mom seems like someone who would not, 
let that fly. Yeah, but, like, it's not like your mom controls your life. No, but I think she would give him, like, an earful. That's true. She does seem, she yeah. seems like, I liked her. Yeah, I liked her, too. And, I mean, at this point, what is she going to do? Her son just kind of sucks. And, yeah. like, what is she going to control him? Yeah. She can't do that. But I loved Laura confronting Jeremy. I yeah. thought, like, oh, my God, she put him in his place. Yeah. But I will say, though, he did low-key make some really good points, too. Because What did he say? Before they did their, like, one-on-one with each other, right? He was, like, talking to Jimmy. Okay. And um, he basically was, like, you know, he was, like, trying to make up um, make up with her. Like, he was, like, sending her text messages, like, you know, asking for her address to send flowers. Mm. And he said he would get, like, he got, like, a text back from her, and she was like, it sucks to see your name go from fiancé to Jeremy or whatever in my phone. And he said, at that point, it's like, well, what the fuck am I fighting for then if she's, like, basically already made up her mind? Which... Honestly, yeah, like, if I had gotten but a why, why would you think that she would want to do anyways? Like, after you lied to her and stayed out with someone until, like, yeah. four in the morning. And, I mean, it's not like they've got some long, long history anyways. Like, at this point, right. I'd be like, cut the losses. Like, I'm not right. willing to stick around and see what else you're going to put me through. Right, right. Like, I've only known you for, like, two weeks. Right. But, I mean, let's just, okay, let's just play devil's advocate for a second Okay, here. okay. Okay, let's say nothing really did happen between him and Sarah. Okay, okay, let's pretend. Let's pretend, right? <laughs> do you think he, like, if something, if nothing truly happened, then do you think Laura should still give him a second chance? Mm. Okay, if nothing truly happened, then, like, nothing happened. But, like, right. I think it's an overall matter of, like, she just does not trust him now. Yeah, yeah. I agree because he I did lie to her and say that he didn't go and he'd leave the parking lot. Yeah. And even if he did just drop Sarah Ann off. Yeah. Yeah. Which, like, I don't know if I believe it. Like, that's what Sarah Ann is saying. But, like, they've had time to get their stories straight. Like, if... That's true. You know what I mean? Like, they yeah. could have just aligned their stories and been like, obviously, neither of them wants to look like the bad guy on national television. Right, so, like, they're right. both going to say oh, yeah, like, we didn't, nothing happened, and he just dropped me off, and yada, yada, yada. Yeah. I just don't know if I'm buying it. Yeah. Well, that's why I said let's just play devil's advocate, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I just, I think, again, like, the relationship is two weeks old. If something, like, breaks your trust in any, even just a minor way, even if you don't know for sure that he slept with her. Yeah. It's like, why... Why bother? You know what I yeah. mean? It's like two weeks, like, yeah. cut your losses and go. It's like they're already acting like that at two weeks, too. It's like, what are they going to put you through? In my own personal opinion, I feel like they low-key are both just not good for each other. Yeah, like, no, they're, they're a terrible just, like, match. They're toxic. just, they're not like, they don't like each other. They don't like each you could tell that, I think he liked her in the beginning, but you could tell when they first met and she, like, was calling him childish. Like, she did not. I mean, I'm him. sure he was so annoying because, like, remember how annoying he was in the pods? I mean, he was really annoying when they, like, were in that pool scene and he was, like, just swimming around. And she's like, you're not going to jump into that with your, like, with all your clothes on or whatever. And then he did. Like, he was just being a silly, silly little goose, you know? Boys will be boys. And she was like, ugh. Like, she was just like, it was yeah, like Yeah, I think she her. did not like him. So, I think now, at this point, it's kind of like, okay, well, it doesn't seem like you liked him at all. Mm -hmm. So then, did you also, like, were you having that Chelsea mindset where you just wanted to win, too? And you wanted to be the one picked? Mm, probably. That you probably know? was part of it. Yeah. Because, like, I did not see a lot of chemistry with them in the pods. I really think the only reason G. Ramey picked her over Sarah Ann mm -hmm. was because of politics. Yeah. And that was it. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. I can agree with that. Because um, I remember when he, like, talked about, like, why he chose one over the other. Uh -huh. Do you remember when he was like, well, with Sarah Ann, like, there was never any, like, pushback or like conflict so I didn't know how she would respond to like you know uh, yeah no oh I know but he was like that's why I chose Laura because we would know how to like navigate through a hardship okay that and obviously so in the end goofy to me like they, Jimmy said something similar don't. about why he chose Chelsea he was like wait he did yeah he's like in post-show interviews he said like yeah at the time like Chelsea's conflict resolution was like more how I more aligned with mine I was like really you're gonna marry someone for their conflict resolution yeah. skills well I mean I think if you think about it logically I feel like people probably think that that's you know what I mean I like, mean yeah they barely know the person so I guess they yeah. have to like pick some dumb they reason. have to like do be more logical but and he did also say though that Jess's like 
for being confrontational and like knowing what she wants and stuff like really freaked him out because that's just not let's be so honest though that it was just came down to the child it was just I mean, the I child think, I think nothing so too. else i'm doing my eyebrows people okay don't forget to do your sound eyebrows. the alarm don't forget to do your eyebrows I'm like i better do them now quickly before before you forget before I forget these ugly fracking things. Yeah, I don't know. I just think, like, the combination of G. Ramey and Laura being a terrible couple. Mm-hmm. And then, like, Sarah Ann is such a pick-me, though. I love the way that A.G. like, ripped into her. Yeah, I, That was so enjoyable for I me. loved how every time she's like, well, I read it. She's like, let me tell you what I said. She's like, oh, well, I read it. Yeah, she's like, let me show you, tell you what I said yeah. in, the, in the DMs to G. Ramey. And right. AD was like not hearing any of it. She's like, no, I read it. I she's know what like, it said. Exactly. Which, good on her. That's exactly the... Yeah, I love it. Because mm-hmm. like really, we are, we have to be Team Laura in this situation. Like, yeah. And I, I, get, I get it. It's like a weird situation. Mm-hmm. But then why doesn't Sarah Ann just wait until... That's what after I, the yeah, wedding day that's what and I like let thinking. it run its course you only have a couple of weeks right that you have to even wait i think okay i will say like everything she said on the dock and i hate to say it like i wish when i was just, like, when she was taught sarah ann when yeah, she was sarah talking, when to, she was talking to Ramey. yeah when she was like well my feelings are valid and it's like no one is saying your feelings aren't valid it's just the way you went about things the timing was just wrong yeah like your feelings are valid. Like, you, of course, like, you went on the show. You thought you were going to marry someone. Like, you dated people. You fell in love. Whatever, whatever. Right? And I understand I mean, her... falling in love is a little questionable. It but is. Yeah. But, you know, that's what some of them say. So, I'm just playing into the game of it all. But, you know what I mean? Like, she said that. And then she was like, when I went home, like, I still felt some type of way. Okay. Journal it. Like, you don't have to write it out. Send it directly to him. You know what I mean? Like... If you're feeling some type of way and you know these feelings shouldn't be shared because this man is now in a relationship with someone else Mm -hmm. to get married, why are you telling it to him? Like, save it, write it in your fucking notes app, write it in a journal, write it in a fucking book on a piece of paper, I don't know, write it out. And, like, you get your feelings out that way. I mean, on the one hand, I can understand. She was probably, like, in a panic, like, oh, my God, he's going to marry this girl and I'm never going to have the chance, blah, blah, blah. But But, like, it's just not meant to be. Like, sometimes you just don't get that chance. Like, it is what it is. And, like, she told AD she didn't want to be, like, I don't remember what she was referring to, but she's like, yeah, I don't want to be a pick-me, but, like, you are a pick-me. Yeah. Like, you are everything the, you've exactly done is a pick-me. You are, like, the definition of a pick-me. Right. You, like, yeah. couldn't be more textbook pick-me. Exactly. So, and then, like, after the conversation with G. Ramey on the dock, they go on, like, go on these the jet, jet skis. skis. Yeah, that was funny. And they're, like, maniacally laughing. While, yeah. like, Laura's back crying. It was just diabolical. I mean, it was. But I will say, like, I I feel like, yes, Laura was hurt. But at the end of the day, I don't fully believe it. Because she didn't like him. So, no, like, she didn't like him. But I think she point. was hurt. Yeah, you can be hurt. The things she was saying do not reflect her actions and what she's said to him in the past. Does that make sense? Like, she made it sound like she was fully in love with him and all this stuff. And it's like, no, you weren't. Like, you didn't really like him that much. Yeah, you were so mean to him. I but, mean, you could but, just again, like someone. Her feelings and still, are valid. Yeah, her feelings are completely valid. I mean, and she could dislike him and still feel like very wronged in the scenario. Yeah, which she was. Like, there's no doubt about it. She was wronged. Yeah, I don't know. It was spicy. I. It was kind of annoying to me. <laughs> Part of me kind of wants G. Ramey and Sarah Ann to be together. I think they deserve each other. I think they are together. Like right now? Yeah. <gasps> oh, you're right because I saw a TikTok, TikTok. where she was yeah. in, in his, his house. Yeah, in his house. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. Wait, now I actually hate it. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I don't give a fuck anymore. I hate that. I rebuke it. Oh my god. Wait, I hate them both. But like, I mean, oh, they're crazy. not great, but yeah. Oh my god, that's crazy. I hate it when villains end up together, like, and, and they're happy. Oh, yeah. I knew, so my ex's friend mm-hmm. married a girl that he cheated on his previous girlfriend with. That's always crazy to me. Yeah, because why didn't you just break up with her and date this other yeah. girl? Yeah, and also, wouldn't you be afraid forever, like, if he's gonna leave you? Some people don't think about it that way. I guess. But it is like a karmic thing, right? You well, and have, that just happens. Like, if a man you. is willing to cheat on you, he'll yeah. cheat, on, cheat with you, he'll be willing to cheat on you. Yeah. 
And that's just facts. Yeah. Star of the show! So, we had the whole pool party thing, mm -hmm. but, like, we haven't really talked about, like, the couples who are still left. Okay. And there was some big drama happening. I mean, there's barely any couples left, to be honest. Yeah. Kenneth and Brittany broke up. Right. And, and so, Laura, Laura and, and G-Ring are obviously done. Yeah. So, all we have left are Johnny and Amy, uh -huh. AD and Clay, right. and Jimmy and Chelsea. Right. Johnny and Amy, like, same old song and dance. They're still, like, so boring. I mean, right. God bless them. They're obviously, like, the only couple we have that I even think will stay together at this point. Honestly, yeah. I do think they're going to stay together. I think they're probably still married. I could see it. Yeah. I'm, honestly, what if they had a kid? <laughs> oh, my God. Because their whole storyline right now is still the right. birth control thing. Right, right. And it's, like, it's a little... It's a little dramatic. It's a little much. And, like, it's, it's so funny to me that, like, uh, Johnny, Johnny, like, just now found out, like, what a vasectomy entails. Well, I thought that, so, I okay, so my friend Betty came over last night and we watched it together, but uh -huh. I was under the impression that vasectomies were reversible. They are. I think, but it's not 100% reversible. Like, oh, sometimes okay. it doesn't work. Yeah. Right? Okay, well, then Which, I mean, case, is the nature like, of any surgery. Yeah. That's true. You That's know. true. Sometimes they don't work. Yeah. It doesn't work. Yeah. So I think it's just like, it's just like an extreme thing to do. If you do want kids, I would never recommend someone get a vasectomy. Yeah. yeah. Like don't, don't get a temporary vasectomy, like hoping you can switch it back later. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's a little, a little much in my opinion. Right. But like, it's just a, like, I feel, I truly feel like producers know how boring they are, which is good. Boring is good in a real life relationship. Yeah. Right. right, you don't want to have like constant drama. That's like right, right. So like, good for them on like bodes well for their longevity. But like, I think producers are just like, okay, you gotta, you guys gotta talk about something interesting. Right, let's right, let's right. beat this birth control thing over the head a little more. Watch them have a kid in like a year, anyways. Right, and then all that conversation would be for naught. Why did we have to hear about all of that if that's what you guys? Because they're up boring. Doing they don't have anything else to talk about. That's so, anyways, nice. they're getting married. I'm sure of it. I'm yeah. sure they'll be the only couple who says yes this season. That's my opinion at this point. Yeah. Although AD seems to be like goo goo gaga for Clay right now. And I'm like, girl. Yeah. Um, She's a Captain save -a She is Captain save -a And she even said that herself. So yeah. Yeah. I just like Clay will not shut up yeah. about his parents yeah. relationship. It's he like, won't. bro, get a life and move on. Like, I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, like maybe... Maybe I'm being insensitive, but, like, you're an adult, man. That happened how long ago? And, like, you I just, mean, like, that's what, like, her mom said, too. She was yeah. like, you can't take on... You need to stop fixating on the mistakes of your parents or yeah. you will repeat them. Right. Same thing with, like, okay, this is an interesting example, but, like, Chris Brown said his dad or his stepdad was, like, abusive to oh, his mom. I didn't know and, that. like, he always swore, like, he would never do that and... Obviously, we have seen Chris Brown is or has been abusive. Yeah. So it's like, I think if you fixate on the mistakes of your parents, yeah, you're bound to repeat them. Yeah. I think so too. And I think some of it has to do with like, yeah, you like for Chris Brown, like that's the example he saw. So like you just perpetuate it. But like, yeah. that's why you need to like seek help. Be super self aware. Yeah. I honestly like, I don't know. 80 or not 80 80 is fine i like her clay yeah. is annoying me though because he keeps bringing that up no just every, I, like i just like don't trust him yeah i think like he is not going to say yes i don't think he's honestly i don't think he's gonna say yes either because of that conversation they had when they're signing their marriage certificate thingy oh, wait wait their what you don't think he's gonna say yes no what did he say well he was very fixated on the date of their wedding <gasps> you remember? oh you're right yeah. you're right because I forgot about that. Where like, yeah. I mean, he, he didn't was outright saying, like, say. Yeah, God, what did he say though? I don't remember what it was that he said. He was just like, I just don't understand why this date or whatever. And she kind of was just like, Well, we came on the show essentially to like get married, and right, we, I remember. If you, like, say no. I don't think there would be a question of us getting back. Together. Right, like it sounds like he's kind of saying like, "Oh, I would want to say no, but keep dating," and she's yeah. like, "No," and she's like, "I'm not." She's like, "I'm not going to keep dating you endlessly." Right. If you say no to me. Because, right. like, I mean, for uh, to her point, like, if you want to marry her, what's the difference if you marry her next week or in two years? Like, if you definitely want to marry her, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like... Yeah. And he did come on the show, like, knowing full well, like, that's what happens at the end. Right, right. Is a wedding. 
I wonder if he's one of the people who's like, you know how like producers go on like the dating apps and like kind of reach out to people there. Mm-hmm. I wonder if he's one of those people who like didn't apply to the show but was like recruited that way. Yeah. I had a friend who was recruited for a dating show and she her clip went viral. Do you remember the show like Love at First Kiss or something like that? That sounds familiar. And I remember like the guy who had like never kissed anyone before. Oh, and he like hugged them. Um, can I kiss you? Sure. Is that all? <laughs> yeah. That's your friend? My friend was in that clip, Stop! yeah. And she, no. so before she went on that show, she had texted me because she had moved down to the OC. Uh-huh. She texted me and said, hey, like, I'm going to be filming this dating show. Like, she told me, like, someone had reached out to her on a dating app. Mm-hmm. She's like, I'm going to be in L.A. filming the show. It's, like, pretty early. Can I stay at your place the night before? And I was like, yeah, yeah. sure. Like, no problem. Yeah. She never, like, followed up on it. So she didn't, I just thought that she hadn't done the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I see this clip, and I'm like, oh, my God. It was, like, the most viral clip, It's too. one of my favorite clips. He, like, kissed her cheek. Yeah. Yeah, he, like, held her shoulder and just. Yeah. Yeah, like, cause I was like, oh my yeah. god, oh my god, I have to go home and tell my friend this, she sent me that clip, oh and my it's god. like, our joke. Oh my god, that's so funny, yeah. I mean, yeah, luckily good, yeah. for her, that wasn't embarrassing for her, it was just like, yeah. this weird but it's guy. it's so funny. Yeah. But yeah, I, just, I, think, I think he never really, like, thought he'd Intended. get this far. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if he thinks saying all those cheating things was him trying to deter her. From like, uh, like he wants her to pull out so yeah. that he doesn't have to be the bad guy. Yeah. I think a lot of these guys are doing that. Like Kenneth did that to Brittany. Yeah, he did. I low key think Jimmy's doing that to Chelsea. Yeah. Oh my god, Jimmy is such a fucking idiot. Oh anyway, I'm god. sorry, we'll get into that. I feel like maybe we should just jump into Jimmy okay. and Chelsea now. Okay, yeah. So, okay, like when Jimmy and Chelsea first started their fight, like at first I was like, oh, Chelsea's being annoying again. Like yeah. this whole like questioning him when he like she was like you went out with your friends and it like didn't sound like he had been out that long so I was like oh like she does seem like she's doing too much yeah but then I was like no I'm actually on Chelsea's side here oh god because I was right that the oh, you yeah, fucked yeah, yeah. her and I know yeah, you yeah, fucked yeah. her yeah. was about Jimmy's friend yeah and of course it was because remember when Jimmy's friend was like oh I don't see him turning down sex yeah remember yeah. when she said that yeah, I was yeah. like that's weird that's suspicious but it's men, that's weird men though yeah yeah but like it was a weird thing to it's say if you're truly thing. platonic yeah like i wouldn't say that about any of my guy friends i yeah. wouldn't say like yeah be there with his wife and say yeah i couldn't see him turning down sex yeah and how do well, you it's know weird, yeah it's like a weird thing to say and how do you know <laughs> oh i love you <laughs> <laughs> no it was just so weird and uh yeah i i don't know what do you think what do you think about that whole fight? Are you doing that so I can monologue while you do your makeup? <laughs> Is that why well, I'm, you no, I'm trying to give you the opportunity to speak. I'm not even on my eyeliner yet, so. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm, I see. I'm a thoughtful yeah, friend. Yeah, you are a thoughtful friend. That's so nice of you. <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, I think they're both in the wrong for it. I'm on neither one of their teams. Like, I just thought that whole fight was just so annoying. It was. And here's, okay, so I get where you're coming from, right? Mm-hmm. And I think... I just think, one, Chelsea doesn't really know how to argue because if you were really, truly uncomfortable, like she said she was about the whole thing, Mm -hmm. about him still being friends with her and, like, him still talking to her and stuff like that, yeah, why would you immediately say, but I love her after the fact? That was weird. Like That was so weird. I think, like, in that moment, Chelsea had been struggling with insecurity, like, this whole time, and, like, like she said, she was a little drunk. Yeah. So your mind is cloudy. I mean, I was thinking to myself, like, this is why I don't like to drink, because if I'm going to argue with someone, I want to know, I want to be on my game. Yeah, And you never know when an argument's coming your way. (laughs) I don't want to see you drunk ever, then, because it kind of sounds like you're a mean one. No, no, no. I'm just kidding, Michelle. But, like, no, you're not. (laughs) You're such a liar. I don't argue with my friends. I'm just saying, like, what if I have to argue with Eric or something? Oh. Then I wouldn't want to be around for that. I'd be like, so now's my cue to leave. I would never argue with people around. That's crazy. I don't know. Some people do. I know. I feel like Jimmy and Chelsea would. They did kind of. Wait, what? 
Did they? Where were they when they were kind of arguing? God, I had a flash like recently? and it left my brain. Or in remember. prior episodes. I can't remember. It's all I know he, out. like, it seemed like he was upset when she said that they were the best couple behind. Yes, so yes, 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 that. That, okay. that was this okay. time, too, yeah. yeah. When Chelsea said that, she was like, Johnny and Amy are best, strongest couple. And he was so mad at her. Yeah. That was crazy. That was weird. I was like, oh my god, bro, let it go. Like, right. she was obviously just kidding, and who gives a flying freak right like right. you obviously don't like her right so like why are you upset it was so weird so weird so weird i really think jimmy is like a manipulator a gaslighter and he's trying to make chelsea look crazy uh-huh. so that when he breaks up with her at the altar yeah he's like justified yeah because he keeps saying like i love you you're my person i love yeah. you you're my person and then the fight, though, was crazy because he's like, if you want me to take a step back for my friends, just say so, and I will. Do you and want me did, to take a step back? And then he's back? like, I'm not doing that. Yeah! <laughs> I was like, are you, are you kidding me? Uh, if you want me to take a step back, I will. Do you want me to? She goes, yeah. And he goes, well, I'm not willing to. Right. I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. Right, right. It wasn't even ten seconds later. Right. Oh my god, that like set me off. That like yeah, that like really pissed me off too. Like, like I mean, then don't fucking say that. Yeah, why would you say that? Why would that you is bring it up? so crazy. Right. So crazy. Oh, and then he was like saying, "What did he say to her?" He's like, "Well, if you don't think I love you, then I'm gonna break up with you." Oh yeah, he did say that. Then you obviously don't love her. Right. Because if that's all it takes for you to break up with her, oh my god, I'm just like, be so serious right now. You right. just want to be. Fucking your friend. Right, right. And I just really think, like, I, I I personally couldn't do it. Like, would you want your partner to be friends with someone that they had had sex with? No. Because I've also always thought about this. Like, if I had hooked up with someone and then they ended up getting, but we had, like, a good friendship mm-hmm. and they ended up being in a relationship with someone else, like, I would just not be friends with them anymore. Well, it's just, like, especially because, like, he's only known this girl for, like, two years. Yeah. They're not, like, long. It's not, like, someone he hooked up, like, within middle school or, like, high school and, People like. were hooking up in middle school? I wasn't. I'm just saying, like. Oh. I was, like, uh, they're too young for that. That is too young. High school. If it was high school. Right. That's completely different. Years have gone by, right? Right, And, right. like, people in high school hook up willy-nilly, and they're, like... Yeah, you know, that's like, like, you... I mean, you would assume that people have changed and, like... Right. Up. But, like, someone you've been friends with for two years, that means you hooked up with her fairly recently, yeah. and you don't have clear boundaries with yeah. your friendships. Yeah. Like, why do you need to stay friends with someone that you fucked? I don't... Yeah. I'm not understanding that. Right, 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 right. Like, I certainly think men and women can have platonic, platonic friendships. Yeah. But, like, yeah. that isn't one. Yeah. If that's you fucked her. Yeah. That's not one. Yeah. I agree with that. I think men think that it's platonic, but I feel like men don't take sex as seriously as women do. Okay. I feel like women get a little bit more emotional, which is like, that's only, like, you're human. Like, yeah. emotions are a human thing. Right? But I kind of feel like men tend to see it as like a, it's whatever. Like, I can still be friends with this person. Maybe. I don't know. I think that's. But he needs to respect that, like, his yeah, fiance he does, he does need to respect doesn't that. feel comfortable. Right. And I agree with and that. And I don't think he gives a flying shoot. I don't know if this is obviously true or not. I'm just speculating. But I'm wondering if, because, like, why did it take so long for this to become a conversation? And I'm thinking Chelsea was probably telling him, like, I'm fine with it. Like, I know you don't have any feelings for her whatsoever. But, like, she's just. I think she wants like, to be the cool girl. Yeah. But she's not. But she's not. And that's fine. And that's okay. But, like. Just say that. I don't know. Yeah. That's the thing that, like, really bothers me, too, is, like, if you're uncomfortable with something, like, you should you should just say it. Now you have issues. Like, now you're both arguing about this girl when you probably have talked about it, like, two or three weeks ago. And, and they've like only known each other for, like, two or three weeks. Okay, sorry. <laughs> no, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I see what you're saying, yeah. though. But, like, it's possible it that it took her longer to realize that it bothered her so much. You that, know? Yeah. Like, maybe she didn't realize when she first found out that, like, it really was going to eat at her. Especially, like, him going out and, like, hanging out with her without Chelsea. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, I, I'm starting to think, though, remember last week when you said that, like, the couples get fined oh, yeah, $50,000 yeah. if they don't, like, go through the whole wedding day thing? Supposedly. I think you're right. And oh, I think, think I think well, I think they pick and choose who they're going to pursue it with, like, Kenneth and Brittany 
and geranium. Oh, yeah. and Laura, I, think I don't just, think they would pursue it. I think it has to be a legitimate breakup. Yes. Right. Right. And I think that like because Jimmy and Chelsea, I thought at one point in the episode that they had broken up. Yeah, because he said he was done. Yeah. And he literally said, like, he's like, if you don't think I love you, then I'm leaving. Or, like, what did he say exactly? He's like, if you don't think that I love you, I don't want to be here. You don't think that I love you? And she goes, I don't know. And he goes, okay, it's not going to work, Chelsea. I mean, I kind of feel like he's kind of valid for saying that. Like, because why would you want to be in a relationship with someone who, like, doesn't trust you and doesn't believe what you say? But that's crazy because you've been saying you love her, you've been saying you love her, you've been saying you love her. Yeah. She's having, like a moment like she is questioning your love for her because you also have been gaslighting her this entire conversation yeah and saying like if you want me to take a step back from my friends i will and then she says she wants you to take a step back and say you're not gonna do it that's a good point i mean i see why she doesn't think he loves her i think i think he's also like trying to get her to break up with him he he would be ecstatic if she broke up with him she's not going to no she's not i think she really wants to marry him yeah which is also kind of crazy. Like, girl, let that man go. I know. Like, clearly he doesn't want you. Why would you want to be with someone who doesn't want you? Yeah. Why would you? I mean, well, we've all had to learn that lesson in life. Because, like, I've been with people who, like, I thought I should fight for. Who, like, just yeah. didn't want to be with me. Yeah. That's fair. And I was And, like, I don't think you really... You're, when you're so in it in that moment, you're not thinking, like... You're not thinking clearly, oh, like, he hates me. But, but like, I had a boyfriend anxiety. who, like, I think hated everything about me. <laughs> Yeah. Like, I would, like, do, like, the, you know, the Asian squat. Like, I like to do that out and about. Like, it's comfy. Yeah. Yeah. And he hated it. He said it was so embarrassing. I was like, how is me squatting? Yeah. Embarrassing, embarrassing. you. Yeah. You're not even doing anything. Look away, like, then, if right. my squatting is so embarrassing to you. Right. Right. But, like, I think it was just, like, he just didn't like me. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, like, in that yeah. moment, I wasn't thinking, oh, he hates me. But now, like, years removed, I'm like... Yeah, yeah, I think he hated me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the squat was just, like, the one thing that sent him over the edge. <laughs> He's like, I can't. He's like, this is an ick for me. <laughs> I can't do this. I'm like, this is my culture! <laughs> He's like, I don't give a fuck if it's your culture or not. But seriously, how is squatting embarrassing? I once asked Eric, I, I like, squatted, and I was like, is this embarrassing to you? Yeah. He's like, no. I think people will always, like, pick and choose, like, things that they're embarrassed, like, you know what I mean? Things like, if they don't truly like you, like, there's always going to be something they have to nitpick about. Right, right. You know. But I was like... I got mascara on my nose. Oh, no. Do you know when, when that happens, you have to let it dry? And then it'll flake off way easier. Oh. I told that to my sister. We were doing our makeup on the train from mm. D.C. to New York. Uh-huh. And she got mascara on herself. I go, let it dry. And she, like, didn't believe me. And I was... And so she, like, tried to wipe it off. I was like, girl... So then what happened? Have to redo it well, it, like, it messes up your makeup underneath yeah. more if you don't just let it dry. Oh, well, I'm not wearing makeup underneath, so. Oh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Is it crazy? Or am crazy. I just a lazy-ass bitch? I guess. Which I am. No, <gasps> not deny that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I just remembered one thing that Jimmy said to Chelsea that I was like, be so for real. What? He was like, I will always fight for the woman I love. I was like, you're fighting for her to break up with you is what you're fighting. Right. I just want him to stop saying, I love you and you're my person. Because it's... He's such a liar. He hates her. Yeah. If she was squatting... I noticed... If she was Asian squatting, he would say that was embarrassing. Right. I was going to say, I noticed... Was it when they were sitting on the couch and he was like telling her that like he loves her or whatever yeah near the end of the episode I think he was like saying I love you and then he looked away after he said like he like his eyes like darted away was he like like, looking at the camera I love you he wasn't looking at the (laughs) blink no but like I was just like you really loved her like that's like the first telltale telltale sign of someone lying is to look away that's true well yeah he doesn't love her he doesn't and he's just saying it he hates her think he hates her I think he just doesn't want to be like he's like regretting it because he didn't think it would be this hard Mm. and my other thing too that I think about is I think she's really good at dating because she's really good at hiding she's good at dating yeah like because that's what I think that's also why like he would gravitate towards her a lot too because I it sounds like she was really good at hiding like her insecurities oh like good at dating in the pods I feel that way about myself too I'm really good at dating like, early stages. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I'll trap you. Yeah, you did trap me, so. <laughs> we weren't dating. We're but, not dating, Michelle. But you trapped me as a friend. You can't get away from you. And yet you came here of your own free will. 
Well, if I did it, I think you'd hunt me down. <laughs> you'd be like, bitch, I thought you said you were going to do this with me. And then wow. you dragged me here. Wow. You don't think so? I don't think so. Well, maybe. I, well. I think as a joke, you would. <laughs> oh my god, people are going to think you literally hate me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I don't hate you. I hope not. Jesus. I just don't want to be in front of the camera. <laughs> Oh my god, the camera doesn't even know you're here. It's an inanimate object. Okay, you know, I don't have a good response for that. Because <laughs> you're not wrong. So, obviously I think we're on the same page that we all, the only couple that we think is saying yes is yeah. Carrot Top and Amy at this point. Carrot Top and Amy. Oh my. Yeah, I mean... I think, I don't know, I kind of feel like Clay will say yes, but really? then I think they'll break up. Like, I could see that. Yeah. I could see that. Yeah. Because yeah. I think he, like I said last week, he wants to want to be married. Yeah, that's true. You did say that. And I can see it. Yeah. Like, it kind of feels like he's like one of those people where it's like, well, I'm already here. Might as well say Might yes. Might as well just keep doing it. Yeah. Right? And I, I think you're right also, like, uh, earlier when you said he didn't think he would get this far. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I think some of the psychology of wanting to win took over him, too, because if, remember how upset he got when he found out A.D. was dating Matthew? Uh, Matthew. Yeah. A.D.'s eyes kind of lit up this episode when she found out Matthew looks like Clark Kent. Yeah, I did notice that. I was that. like, girl! I was like, mm, is that what you really want, though? He's kind of crazy. He is crazy. I mean, I we've we also see more, too, than they see in the pods, right? Like... Our vision is twenty twenty on it because we've got more of a perspective. Right, right. Probably being in those pods is like, I mean, you're probably going a little crazy because you don't have your device that whole time. Yeah. You're like, you're only dating. Yeah. Day in and day out. Right. It's got to be a little like psychological warfare kind of thing. Yeah. You know? That's fair. I mean, your daily comforts are being taken away from you. Yeah. So you have to replace it with something. Speaking of which, do you know how, like, some of the contestants, like, former contestants are, like, suing Kinetic? No, I do oh, what? They're wait. suing the production company who makes Love is Blind mm-hmm. over, like, some of, like, the the working conditions and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that, yeah. I mean, like, uh, how bad can it be? Well, I think you can say that because you don't know, right? That's true, but, like... I mean, I don't know. It's like you could look from the outside in and be like, that's cool, like, I would want to do that, like, that looks like a lot of fun. That's true, I'd do anything for fame, so... That's true, you would. I wouldn't. I'd be like, fuck that shit, I don't want to do that. So um, I'm like, I'm like, you should be so lucky. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But, like, filming, like, set days are very long. Yeah, I'm sure. You know what I mean? And, like, my other thing is, like, why are they getting paid to do a reality show? Because it didn't, wasn't one, like, stipu- not stipulation, but, like, part of the lawsuit was, like, if you calculate how much they made while being on their show, I think they get, than... yeah, I think, well, I think they have to pay them something. Oh, like, um, labor laws? Yeah, probably, because that, because they're technically their day in and day out, right? Yeah, yeah. And you're earning them money, so it's like, they probably have to give them some money, but, like, there just must not be clear laws on, like, how much money? Minimum wage, because I think, like, one of the things was that it was, like, when it works out to how many hours they're on set and stuff, it's mm-hmm. not minimum wage. Yeah. You know, I have no I idea. I see that. Any other thoughts on Love is Blind? Let me look through your notes and yeah. see if anything sparks anything. You didn't say anything about weaponized therapy. I was just thinking that, you know, I think weaponized therapy is another, like, is an underspoken about thing. Like, I think I mentioned it in, like, what, last week? Where I wouldn't, yeah. I actually think okay. it's, like, men in therapy is dangerous. Flag, yeah. Because I think a lot of them weaponize it. And, yeah. like, Jimmy did kind of weaponize. He was, like, when he was fighting with Chelsea. Mm-hmm. He was like, you crossed my boundaries, buddy. Well, Be people are so allowed serious. to have boundaries. I know, but, like, that's, like, such an odd thing to say. And if, like, what boundary did he cross, did she cross in that moment? By saying, oh, you know it was I mean? like, when he asked her to not bring it up, but she brought it up. Oh, the you fucked my friend yeah, thing? Yeah. You forced her hand. <laughs> You're like, that's my, that's my defense for her. I mean, I am always going to side with a woman. Yeah. On pretty much anything. Yeah. Um, Unless I really see an egregious step yeah. on the woman's part. But, like, I see where Chelsea's coming from. And yeah. I think that he's in the wrong. He's more wrong than she is. She is a yeah. little annoying. Yeah. She's a little needy, a little clingy. But I think that some of that is being triggered by how distant he Jimmy is. is being. Yeah. 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 But you know? People, yeah. I was just going to say, like, maybe some people just, like, aren't lovey-dovey like that. But, like, that's what I'm saying is, like, she should have been with Trevor because he would have given her that. 
obviously not anymore because he has a girlfriend. Yeah. But back then, like, I think had she had gone with him, it would have been everything yeah, that she he, had He would have been the better choice. He would have been super lovey with her. Mm-hmm. She would have loved that. And it would have been a show. What would he have done? I wonder, like, what was his game plan to get out of the marriage? Trevor's? Yeah. Like, if he had gone all the way down the aisle, what was he going to do? Do you think he might have actually married her? I bet he might have. He might be the, He might be that crazy. I mean, putting myself in the shoes. <laughs> like if you were him. If I were him, like, and I'm desperate for fame. Yeah. And, would you, I have, but, and you had a significant other that you'd been dating for a very long time that you loved. Well, how long were they together? I'm assuming they were together for a while. That's, That's true. just what I'm assuming. Okay, that is tough. Because, like, if they were like, together I mean, for... I, I say, I talk a big game about how desperate I am for fame. And, like, I say, like, oh, maybe I'll go on a dating show, like, in joking. Yeah. But, like, would I really? Like, probably not. I don't I, know. You're no. kind of a wild card. You never know. I might apply. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to hide, card. what, erase every picture of Eric from my Instagram. <laughs> we have broken up at this point. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. I mean, anything for, the, for my 15 minutes. You know, when you say that, I... I think I forgot what it was, but last week I had a really good idea for how you could be famous, like your life. And you forgot? And I forgot it. I meant to mention it wow. during when we were talking about it, but you I kind of bulldozed me. That's wow, <laughs> wow. Um, but kidding. anyways, if anyone has a good lie for me, I'm still on the lookout for a good lie to be telling people to make me famous. Right. I'll figure it out. I'll try yeah, to remember. We'll get to yeah. it. It'll come back to me. Oh, but speaking of Love is Blind, mm-hmm. so you didn't watch last season, but like- right. Um, Stacy was uh-huh. kind of the villain, okay. and she's now dating this guy from Married at First Sight, who was a villain in his season. Which guy? His name was Ryan, and he was his I wife. Don't remember names, but his wife on the show caught him on a dating app, and he had matched with one of her friends while they were married. Okay, then I don't know that person. Yeah, I, I forgot person. about that happening. Like I kind of vaguely remember it. I'll have to yeah. rewatch the season. Yeah. But yeah, I find that to be very interesting. I didn't like Stacy at all. Like, since mm-hmm. you didn't watch, Stacy was like, I didn't like her, the guy she was with either. Mm-hmm. Like, they were both awful human beings, in my opinion. And mm-hmm. they, like, attacked this other girl. So, like, Izzy was her fiance's name, and he had been in a love triangle with Stacy. And this other girl, who I forgot her name, but she's reminded me of, like, Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Belle, the live action one? Mm, just the character Belle oh, in general. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah. But anyways, I forgot what her name is. It was a boy name. It's not important. So they had this love <laughs> triangle. And then Izzy and Stacy, the fiancés, like ganged up on the boy named girl. Uh-huh. Johnny. Her name was Johnny. <laughs> okay. Okay. Interesting. So they ganged up on her at this like party and like attacked her and mm-hmm. like made her feel like shit. And it was just like... It was so unnecessary. It was really yeah, it was mean and unnecessary and, like, out of pocket and crazy. Mm-hmm. And, like, Stacy is still acting that way towards her to this day. Mm-hmm. And it's just, like, get over it and get a life. Yeah. So I just didn't like Stacy. She seems like a mean girl. She's also, like, very wealthy because her parents. Yeah. Which I go off. I wish I was very wealthy from my parents. But, you know. Yeah. We all have our lots in life. But anyways, I just <laughs> think it's interesting that two villains got together. Yeah. It seems like a theme of our chat today. What other villains got together? Um, G. Raimi and Sarah Ann. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Mm. Your lipstick is, like, all over your retainer. Is it? <laughs> I was, like, I've been sitting here debating if I should tell you, and I'm, like, oh, she's going to Oh, my God, you crazy, crazy, crazy person. Okay, I feel like the retainer really attracts lipstick. Or maybe, I wonder, like, do you maybe have to wait for it to dry? Um, you definitely do have to wait for this lipstick to dry, but, like, I feel like because the the ridges the and nubbies. stuff, the nubbies stick out. Mm-hmm. They're collecting it a little more. <laughs> Anywho, um, Justin Bieber and Haley Bieber. There was rumors that they maybe got divorced. Yeah. Do you believe them? Unfortunately, no, because I think they. So part of it was like, oh, they haven't been seen together. They haven't been doing any pap walks. And her which dad. I love that. Like also, and her dad asked for prayers. Oh yeah, for her dad asked for prayers for Justin and Haley. Yeah. Which it's like, whatever, but like, I, you know, that they're, everyone's into their own different things. I would have loved to believe it, except that they did do one of their classic pap walks and like went to church together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did see that picture. Like, they just did that recently. So I think they were like, okay, we have to prove we're still married. Yeah. Which I think is kind of crazy that like you need to do that. I mean, okay, I understand. I get it. You're a celebrity. People want to see you out and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. But I think there's so, it's such a How that so weird much would it hate. be to be that level of celebrity, right? Yeah. Like, 
where like that's just normal for you. You're like, okay, we gotta call our paparazzi friends and do this yeah. and that, and like make sure they get us photographed and do our little pap walks because they've been photographed. Like they literally just do like a pap walk. They'll get out of the car, walk a block, be photographed, get back in the car and leave. Yeah. So they weren't like actually going anywhere. They just like yeah. pretend to go somewhere. But like it's also my question is why you have to appease people? Like you know what your relationship is. Um, I mean, if it were me, it would just be to keep on getting attention. But it doesn't seem like he wants the attention. You know what I mean? People can say one thing and think a completely different thing. Of course, no celebrities want you to know that they want attention. Because that's, like, that's a little nuts, right? Yeah. Well, the Kardashians. Yeah, but that's why I like the Kardashians. Because they're, like, open and honest about it. Like, especially Kim is, like, I love being a celebrity. I love everything that comes with it. And she, like, feeds into it. And I'm, like... That's what I want because you are a celebrity. You have all the benefits that go along with being a celebrity. So just give us what we want, which is yeah. a little glimpse into your life. That's true. That's a good point. You know what I mean? I think I'd be a great celebrity because I'd give the people what they want. Yeah. I mean, you're doing that right now. You're doing exactly <laughs> what they want. A podcast. <laughs> all of my two fans. <laughs> your mom and who's my the mom one? and my dad. Oh, okay. You think they're giving you two separate views, or are they watching at the same time? They they are definitely watching separately. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, good for you, yeah, two fans. You, two views. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I would love for them to get divorced. I mean, not to wish them ill, but like it would be lots of tea for me. It'd be like a fun little yeah, a fun little treat for me to gossip about. I and think... their life is my entertainment. So let's see. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'll give you that. Uh, I don't know if they will. I think. I don't know if they will get. I don't think they will. Mm -mm. I don't think so. Yeah. But it would be fun. It's like a competition now. Like they're proving that they're meant Mm, to be. That's true. And sometimes everyone being against you will draw you closer. Yeah. I could see that being the case. No one else knows what you're going through except the person that's going through it with you. That's true. I wonder if that's what brought Heidi and Spencer closer together. Everyone hated them. Mm. And look at them. They're still going way strong. Who would have seen that 10 years ago? Why aren't they kind of weird? They're both definitely very weird. They're made for each other. They're yeah. they're another classic pap walker. Like, she does TikToks now showing, like, oh, I'm going shopping. I just called my paparazzi friends, and I've got, like, these empty bags to make it look like I bought more. And, yeah, yeah. Which I think is so fun. I love it. Give us more, oh Spidey. My God. Oh my God. <laughs> Speaking of divorce, though, someone else who did separate recently, Jackson Brittany from Vanderpump. I, I don't know much about them. I don't know a lot about them either because they're before I ever really watched Vanderpump. Mm-hmm. But, like, from what I've seen of him, he's not a good guy. Well, yeah. Oh, like, okay. I haven't seen any full episodes. But I've seen clips, like, trailers and stuff when yeah. I used to cover it for work. Mm-hmm. And, like, didn't he cheat on her? Yeah, he cheated on her and they broke. I don't know. Did they cheat on He cheated on her when she was pregnant? I know he cheated on her. Oh, maybe but not But I don't then. know if it was while they were pregnant. Maybe Because I think it was while they were still dating. They uh, broke up at one point, okay. so I'm assuming they broke up after he cheated on her. Oh, and then they got back together and got and married? And then they got back together and got married. Oh, and now and they, they have a the kid. kid. Okay, got it. Yeah. And that he says one. he doesn't believe in marriage. Or, <laughs> he doesn't believe in divorce. Oh, I was like, if he doesn't believe in marriage, then why do you get <laughs> no, married? No, he doesn't believe in divorce, so we'll see if they actually follow through with the divorce. Yeah. But, I don't know, maybe sometimes people just need to be separated for a little bit. Maybe. I mean, maybe the strain of, like, he just opened a restaurant, maybe that, like, puts a lot of pressure on and, like, having the baby. Maybe having the baby exposed kind of how bad he is, though. Like, if he's not helping her and things. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in last year, Brittany referred to, like, in some interview or something, she said they were trucking through their marriage. Mm. Like, that seems a little, I mean, maybe it was just, like, an offhand, like, silly, goofy remark. Comment, Yeah. But, like, if that's, if you really believe that you're trucking through. Yeah. That probably doesn't bode well. Well, maybe it doesn't, like, maybe, because you know how, like, sometimes when people say things, like, it could mean something else to you. So maybe to you it's a that's negative true. thing. That's true. But maybe to her she, like. Maybe she's like, just like, oh, you know, yeah, we're trucking we're through. Trucking along. Like, yeah. maybe she would just, because yeah. I say goofy things, too. Like, someone will be like, someone asked me how it is having Eric back. And I was like, well, the place is a mess. Yeah. And yeah, it was see, just like a silly goofy it, Yeah, remark. you say it in a but, funny yeah. way. Yeah, but like, I think, because was, didn't you see that comment from an article? So like, yeah, when you read right. things, when you like read things it might be different right. than like, like if someone like, oh, you know, we're down. trucking through. Yeah. That yeah. probably was how it is. Maybe. Yeah. Because if someone had written that about you, and you knew you said it in like a really funny way, and yeah. everyone's just like, oh, she hates Eric. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. <laughs> Which I could see happening. Yeah, like, someday when I have more than two fans. Okay. Maybe when I have like hit eight. 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You'll be all over TMZ. <laughs> oh my God. But anyways, I guess we can wrap this up because you gotta go. Right. You have one minute left. Perfect. Perfect. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. I can't wait for next week's episode. We've got oh God, same. more Love is Blind coming up. We'll find out who says yes. Yes. And yeah. maybe we'll even talk about J Lo. This is me now because I've been seeing some stuff about that. And I'm like dying to watch. I don't want to watch because I love her so much. And I, I feel know like it's I love her too, but like I love her too. But it's okay to make fun of people we like. Yeah, it's fair. You make fun of me all the time, so <laughs> you make fun of me and act like you're a prisoner. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, I guess okay. See you later, toodly scootlies. Bye.